My wife recently purchased a Hyundai Veloster N, so I'm expanding my channel to show the upgrades we do to my Hyundai Elantra N and her Veloster N. Today I'm going to show how to remove the rear badges from the Veloster N. You may want to do this modification to paint the emblems or to remove them completely. There are three badges that can be removed. My wife and I removed all three badges to accomplish three things. Remove the large Hyundai H, paint the Veloster script black and relocate it, and paint the N black and lay new vinyl covers over the N. When starting this process, I wanted to make sure the Hyundai H was not held into place with any type of screws or retaining clip. I was unable to find this information on the internet, so that was the main reason for making this video. I found by removing the handle located at the top of the hatch door, I was able to determine nothing was holding the H badge into place. But it did, however, have two plastic pieces going through the car's metal holding the H in position. This makes removing the H easier but creates an issue. The issue is you're left with two holes in the trunk. I will touch on our solution later in the video. If you plan to paint the badges, you'll want to tape around each badge before removal. We used blue painter's tape for this step. This will help when reattaching each badge into its original place. I understand you can use Plasti Dip to paint the badges, but we chose paint so we could get a glossier black finish and we found the vinyl sticks to regular paint better than Plasti Dip. After you've taped around the badge or badges you want to remove, spray the first badge with Goo Gone. This will help to loosen the badge as you're removing it. To remove the badge, take fishing line and start at one end of the badge and in a sawing-like motion, begin separating the badge from the car. We started with the H badge and did not tape it since we knew it would not be going back onto the car. The H was a bit difficult to remove, so we had to use a plastic removal tool to help pry it from the car. After removing each badge, we used Goo Gone again to clean off the excess 3M tape. I tried to capture what the paint would look like after the badge has been removed. There will be a shadow of the badge from the remaining 3M residue. I'm showing most of the process but sped up. You can see exactly what the paint will look like after removal. The Veloster script was the next badge that we removed and we used the similar process to the H badge. Taking fishing line in a sawing like motion to remove the badge. Once removed, you will then need to respray with Goo Gone and remove the excess 3M tape. Remove the remaining 3M residue. We used car detailer and a small piece of clay bar to clean off the paint and remove any trace of the factory badge. If you're going to simply put the badge in the same place, this step is not necessary. We did this to show how to clean the surface completely and because we were still thinking of what we wanted the trunk to look like. We decided to reattach the end in the same location, but wanted it painted black with the vinyl overlay. We made the vinyl overlay ourselves, and the blue was a custom color vinyl that we had specifically made to match the performance blue color. Finally, since we did not want the Hyundai H on the car, we decided to relocate the Veloster script over the two holes left behind by the H. We had to cut a small circle of performance blue vinyl to hide a small portion of one of the holes. 3M tape was used to reattach both badges for the Veloster script badge, you'll have to cut out the 3M tape behind the letters before, before applying the badge. I think the finished product turned out great. It's a simple, clean look. It's similar to what we had on our Kia Stinger. Thank you to all the support from everyone that has subscribed to my channel and has provided such positive feedback on my previous videos. Please help me out by sharing my videos with others in the Hyundai community. I will have links to all the items used in today's video in the description below.